Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the 3D Print Zone. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the stock glass bed that comes with an Ender 3 V2 with a flexible magnetic bed like the one you can see right here. So if you're new to the channel and you're interested in 3D printing, then please consider subscribing. And at the end of the video, if you find any value in it, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start off, I'm just gonna briefly explain why I decided to upgrade from the glass bed to a flexible magnetic bed. And you know, the bed that comes with a Ender 3 V2 is a glass bed and it has this texture to it. Um, it actually does a pretty good job at having print stick and adhere to the bed without needing any tape or glue or hairspray or anything like that. Um, but what I found is when the print is actually complete, that it's actually sometimes really difficult, even with a scraper, trying to scrape the print off. Um, it'll stick so well that I've actually broken prints when I'm trying to pry them off of the print bed. So having a flexible bed will allow me to pop the prints off much easier, and that's really the main reason I'm, I decided to go with that. So this is the magnetic bed that I purchased. This is something I got on Amazon and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But you can see it has it labeled right here that this has a PEI coating on top, which will help the print stick better. Um, and you can see that there's a flex to the material. So it's made out of spring steel, um, which allows it to flex, but not warp. And then the other part that comes with it is this um, giant magnet that you first press onto the print printer. So you can see on the back, it just has some 3M adhesive that'll stick to the plate underneath uh, this glass bed. And then that'll allow the magnetic part to stick on and um, grab tightly. All right, so I'm just gonna briefly go over the instructions that come with the magnetic bed. So the first step is basically just taking off the adhesive backer off of the magnet and placing it onto the bed of your printer. The second step is then gonna to be to put the actual magnetic plate into position. Um, the third step, which is important, is because the height is a little bit different when you have the magnetic bed, the actual thickness of the bed is thinner than the glass bed, you're gonna to have to readjust your Z offset um, and make sure that the bed is level before you start a print. And then that's pretty much it. After you have it on there, you can try a test print and you should be able to just flex the bed and the part should pop right off. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the old bed. So I'm just gonna slide this out of the way, move this forward a little bit and take off the two clips. There's one on the front and one on the back. And that's just about it. So you can see this is the old glass plate that we're gonna be removing. And I'll just set that aside over here. The next step we're gonna be doing is putting the actual magnet onto the bed. So to do that, we're gonna peel the adhesive off, make sure that we're sitting on the bed nice and flat. And then after that, we'll be ready to put the magnetic spring steel on top of this. Now, because this is such a large magnet, the way I'd recommend doing it is starting with just one corner, setting that down and then start to slowly peel back the paper. And that way you can make sure that the magnet is aligned well to the bed. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna choose to start in the very back left corner. And I'm just making sure that the corners are lined up well in the front and then pressing down firmly there. Now that I've got the back corner stuck, I'm gonna grab the paper. And as I'm pulling the paper out, I'm gonna make sure that I'm pressing down to make sure it's nice and tight. As we go, you can also use like a plastic card or a credit card or something like that. Um, if you wanna help as you're pushing it down. You want to do this nice and slowly just to make sure that there's no air bubbles as you go. Okay. And there we go. So now I'm just going to press down, make sure it's down, and there we go. That's it. 
And then now all we have to do is set this down. So you're basically the same thing, just kind of line it up in the corners, release it, and now it's in place. And then lastly, this is just a protective uh, piece of plastic that comes with the bed when you first buy it. So you could just peel that off. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is turn the printer on and we're gonna walk through the process here to set the offset. So as the printer starts here, I'll kind of show you what we're talking about. So you can see we've got our Z offset right here, our limit switch. And because this bed is a little thinner than the glass bed, when we go to home the printer, it's actually going to be um, a little bit higher than we want it to be. So if we go over here to our dial, I'm going to go to prepare, auto home. We can see the printer now is going through the homing process. And we can take a look here as it gets to our Z. So you can see right there, it just hit our Z limit switch. And if you take a look closely, you can see we've got a pretty considerable gap right there. We're gonna go in here, take out hex wrench. And then if we take a look over here, we're gonna use this hex wrench to loosen up these two bolts right here. I'm just gonna loosen that up a little bit. And this one as well. Now we're able to adjust this downwards a little bit. And then I'm going to re-tighten this. Make sure it's nice and snug. Okay. And once again, we're going to go over to prepare, auto home. Let's take a look. And you can see that we are now just close to the bed. So what we can do now is take a sheet of paper and go through the normal leveling process and we'll be all set to print. And so it really is that easy. You can see now the print bed will just kind of stick into place. You can take the print off at the end, flex it, and your print will pop right off. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Um, this is actually gonna be part of a video series, so I'm gonna be doing some other upgrades and improvements in future videos. One of those upgrades is going to be installing a CR touch so that we could have automatic bed leveling on the printer so I won't have to use a sheet of paper anymore to level the bed. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, check that video out as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.